Sounds good. All right, I'm Michael Matthews. Uh, pronouns are he, him. I am uh, running Sentinel Comics. This is the fourth out of four sessions for uh, Gauntlet Hangouts. As always, we use um, Gauntlet Inclusivity Policy. The X card uh, can be used at any point, either by typing X in chat or doing this uh, in the window. We have um, binds and veils that we've already gone over. We are uh, here towards the end. If we want to go, uh, we can just kind of go in the order of... Um, Characters across the screen up top. Ace to absolute zero. I'm Brian, he, him, and I'm playing Wraith, and she's Batman. <laughs> I'm Terry, uh, he, they, and I will be playing Bunker. I'm Brandon, he, him, and I'm playing the speedster Tachyon and super scientist. I'm Jake, he, him, and I'm playing Absolute Zero, basically Mr. Freeze. But good, Mr. Freeze. Good, Mr. Yeah. Brandon, by the way, you're invisible. I'm invisible? <laughs> yeah. How did I do that? Is that you, you, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm yeah, thinking you're sitting background. too far There's away. A, There's a voice in that, that old time. I think you're kitchen. too far away from your camera. I'm. It's the same distance as always. No, <laughs> it must, I think the camera is... Or wait, are you possibly a sentient? Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> no, are the you a sentient kitchen and didn't tell yes, us? Yes, I was invisible by the the simple thing of being <laughs> low down for the camera to see. I like the idea that we've actually just been dealing with the kitchen this entire time, but there's always been this person there. <laughs> that was I'm the unrelated. face. I'm the face for the kitchen. The kitchen's actually. <laughs> yeah. For a second there, the way your head came up, I was like, how was he sitting? And I was like, <laughs> oh, the camera was probably pointed. Yep. Yes. All right. Do we want to go into a um, uh, recap of what happened last time? Sure. Remember. Um. Uh, I don't remember his name. The uh, we got a message from a self-described world beater um, who had uh, assembled an army of uh, various uh, um, powered individuals and strange mix of high tech and other things, and gave us. Um, an ultimatum uh, regarding the existence of our world, claiming that uh, it was too damaged in the oblivion crisis to withstand um, his might and that we would save everyone a lot of dying if we would just knuckle under to him. Um, uh, but it's not in our DNA to do things like that. Um, the we, this is this came after a a series of of uh, individual attacks um, in different locales where we had been going for a little R and R at Antoine's uh, restaurant. Tachyon and Dana uh, were attacked by a um, cold uh, based villain, um, Wraith and uh, uh, Bunker and their secret identities were out clubbing and were attacked by a, a, a sort of a vampiric uh, a person. And, um, and I forget who the other one was. And uh, Absolute Zero was, uh, was waylaid in, uh, in an alley. And maybe mixing the villains up a little bit. Um, but each of the, it was clear that they were there to try and humiliate and taunt more than to do anything else because they each had a, a device on them to permit them to, uh, uh, to be transported back to, um, where they were, where their home base, where they were sent from. It was kind of a hint that they were somehow be approaching us because that somehow was going to help 
open the the pathway right. for their, their that bonds. their devices were right. We're pulling also pulling it for pulling uh, uh, energy uh, to help to solidify the pathway between uh, their home base and our dimension uh, to facilitate the invasion. Um, at any rate, um, most of them didn't get away, um, and one that did got got away without her device. Um, uh, but that didn't seem to uh, to daunt the uh, the person we were dealing with at all. Um, I don't remember his name, but um, he Jeff? it was a Nordic. It was a Norse uh, name, something out of a Fritjof. Fritjof, that's right. Um, a name name out of uh, out of sort of Norse heroic uh, mythology. Um, Albeit one that at the time none of us knew what the connection might be uh, to anything else that we should be able to figure out. All right, and I believe we have uh, ended. We're I think we ended about the time after you had uh, or the communication had been cut off between you and Fritjof. We're in what is being rebuilt of the plaza. And you have a couple of their people captured. Yeah, uh, Than, Lamio, and Carries. Than was the... Yeah, Than was the... Um... Lamio was sort of like the vampiric one. Um, Carries was the, the spirit. Um, and Than... Uh, sort of pale and had like a death's energy. What did Than do? I think I kind of beat him before I found out what he could do. Um, I, th I think when he when he sort of really grabbed onto you, you kind of felt like um, he'd done done some boosting along with the attack. It was like he was sort of draining energy out of you. Mm, okay. Yeah, Than like in the Thanatos death. Yeah, I assumed he was a a, a speedster, and because I think that was the only thing I got to really see. <laughs> I'll do. You have you've finished speaking with Fritjof. The connection got cut from the uh, extra dimensional. Most of it destroyed in the aftermath of the Oblivion event. Um, uh, Freedom Plaza. Where at some point he had been imprisoned. Yes, that's right. He did mention being imprisoned, and that he had escaped to form his 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 unbeatable army. Um, so um, we need intel. Um, we need to track down what this, uh, to see if there's anything known about this guy or about the, about the name that he takes perhaps well, I'd, after it. Yeah, I'd, I'd kind of track down the origins of those names and the, uh, the possibility that there was a weakness to um, uh, mistletoe, mistletoe. That's right. Because yes, Fritoff identifies with the um, the story of Balder, uh, who was uh, who was killed by a, a sprig of mistletoe. That because um, it was the only thing that didn't promise to um, not to harm him. And so Loki snuck it in. Um, um, and unfortunately, you know, the <laughs> our, the mystic experts are off dimension hopping, um, having themselves a good old time and thus unavailable to us. Um, well, let's... Uh, <laughs> Let's um let, let's let's get in touch with the uh, with the resident uh, horticultural expert uh, for Megalopolis. Um, the people doing the, the rebuilding of the parks would certainly know, or who's ever who's ever in charge. Aren't they? They're reconstructing the arboretum, I think. So someone, someone there. Is that when is that when you're, you're checking into? 
Yeah. Well, let's get, let's, you know, let's get a hold of some mistletoe for goodness sake. What are the, what about, what about the rest of you? There's also possibly the interrogation, just for the rest of you, the, the interrogation of uh, the prisoners. Yeah, that's what um, I was thinking, Jim. Some of them may, you know, it, these are the overconfident types. And if you give them a chance, they may, they may spill information. Uh, yeah. Um, get them to monologue a little bit. <laughs> so that's going to be my plan is I'm going to go and interrogate uh, specifically the one that went after me. Okay. And with uh, Wraith or Bunker? Who, who wants to join me? Wraith, you're good at that. Sure. Could join. Unless I when I met Raider Bunker, I meant if you had something you wanted to be doing. It didn't have to be that. Um No, other other than like coding everything she has on her in mistletoe extract, I don't think Raith had particular plans. I go to a bed bath and beyond because <laughs> it has to be there somewhere. <laughs> Not there's gonna be a new age shop. All right, bunker. Mistletoe extreme. <laughs> Akion, can you like these forty seven thousand candles? Um <laughs> they're all mistletoe. <laughs> They are not. They just they just smell like mistletoe. Only forty five of them are mistletoe. Here we oh, but Feech off won't know which one. Oh yeah, Bunker, <laughs> yeah, you're you were a little low. See your mouth move, but we're not getting the headset died. Oh got you there. Okay. Anything now? Yep. It'll be low, but unfortunately, my other headset died. I went out and forgot it wasn't plugged in this morning. Oh, and this um, the, the, the volume here is not, isn't bad. A moment ago, it was really. Yeah, I turned it closer to my mouth, so hopefully that'll help. Um, I would like to assist Brandon in or uh, Tachyon in their work. You know, I you know, I mean, this may be a dumb idea, but we can if we can get some mistletoe. Can you, um, can you make something that'll fire it? Yeah, it's worth a shot. I mean, you know, it's 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 it's, it's a little woody plant, you know, that grows as a parasite on oak trees, and we we could yep. make splint, you know, we could make splinters of it, and if you the air pressure cannon that could. They could fire it like toothpicks. I mean, but that's not, I know it sounds silly, but it might actually work. If this guy is, um, if, if this guy is, uh, uh, has the appurtenances of, of Balder. Yep. We can definitely, uh, <laughs> magic is, magic's so weird. <sighs> Everything has its own damn rules. <laughs> All right, so you are looking for um, basically like the, the people that are recreating the Arboretum? Arboretum, right, yeah. I'm, so I, I want a couple, I want to just track down a couple of samples of mistletoe. Somebody must have some or know where to find some somewhere. They're growing a greenhouse, you know, or on an oak tree in the Arboretum or something. Well, a couple of you, because of the... Um, Local druids, I don't know. Yeah, well, because of the, um, the Acosflora tree, the gigantic tree that had grown in the city, uh, some of you have met um, uh, Shirori uh, Oyakawa. Who is she's the um, kind of like she's the one who's in charge of the uh, arboretum. They had been looking over stuff, possibly about the, the tree, deciding not to take cuttings. A possible mystical, enormous, gigantic tree, though she's studying on it. Um, she's probably the best person to uh, sort of talk to. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, I'll let's get a hold of her all right um you meet her at the uh 
At the Arboretum? Yeah. Okay, and um, yeah, as you go in, there's there's uh, the, still some of the, 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 the greenhouse type glass and stuff being repaired. Um, mm -hmm. They've got a, a bunch of sort of defensive have come in. They're starting to get some of them placed. There are various types of plants sort of from all over the world. Megalopolis is considered kind of um, one of the jewels of America and a tourist place, particularly for the amount of superheroes. So they want to have also some of the really cool, interesting, and sometimes in certain places, um, ones that have, like, plant life that has been created by certain heroes or villains, as long as it's sort of kept up. Um, she kind of, she greets you in that sort of front lobby. She's like, Welcome, so nice to see you. How's, uh, how's Freedom Plaza going? Um, it's, it's going along uh, pretty well. They, uh, they've got enough of our infrastructure rebuilt that the, that the labs are, are working and the vault is safe. And they're, um, they, the plaza itself, the, they've carted away all the debris and um, started to lay down foundation. They say they'll have the fountain going in another, probably another week or so. That'll be nice. Um, and Bunker, are you are you in are you in costume or are you in civvy? I'll be in costume. Okay. She just sort of like looks over at Bunker and just goes, "You ever come out of that thing? Or <laughs> like, it, does it get hot in there?" Yes, yeah, snacks. <laughs> oh no, it's it's quite cool in here actually. And nods and smiles. And I, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't I invent something like that. Made me sweat all the time. I, I don't have a chair for you because, well, I'm so good. Yeah, what can we help you with? Um, um, first, well, first, a little question is, um, how have you, what have you figured out about this tree of life? Most of the stuff you find out, you know, magical. At a basic level, it's. Essentially, it's a tree shop there. It's a gigantic <laughs> tree, but yeah, um, they're mostly saying the stuff in the in the sap and kind of running through it is it gets it, it's apparently infused with magic. Most hmm. of the stuff is things that's outside of the, the gigantic size, and sometimes some of the a little more unusual properties, parts of it that glow on occasion. We haven't seen it at first yet. Um, yeah, the, 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 those who are much more uh, magical are able to tell us some of the stuff, but it's hard for us to know a whole lot of it. Anyway, it's gigantic. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. <laughs> well, I think it's a new tourist attraction, I guess. One more. Um, <laughs> well, you know, largest tree. In the um, world? In the world? Yeah, probably. I mean, certainly the largest. I, mean, I don't know if the tallest, but it's huge. Uh, anyway, what we came um, about is uh we um we may have a problem with um an individual who calls himself Frithjof um and who has a he's got a connection of some sort with the old myth old Norse myth of Balder um and i don't know if you um you know if you remember uh, but Balder was um, was killed by a sprig of mistletoe because it was the only thing that hadn't promised not to kill him. And we were thinking, as unlikely as it sounds, that this fellow might be vulnerable to mistletoe. And I goes, that could be very possible. Um, we might have some. And she goes, I'm just gonna, kind of go over bunker at this point. And goes, are you looking for something to, are you loading it into something or... Oh, I'm hoping to, hoping to, you know, maybe make some projectiles or some other kind of weapon. So, and, yeah, as I remember from the myth, uh, uh, the, you know, Loki made a sharpened sprig of it. Um, and that's what did Balder in. Um, so we figured we'd make it into a, make, um, bits of it into a pneumatic, you know, and put it in a pneumatic cannon or something like that that could fire, 
fire yeah, small she, pieces of wood. She kind of looks over and she goes, um, I mean, we've got some and we don't tend to need a lot of mistletoe, but if you, uh, uh, if you want to come with me, we can kind of take a look and see what we might have. At least, right. if, you're, if you're looking into something we can do to actually, like, make it work with your, um, with your systems, I mean, are you looking for art? She so kind of, like, grabs her hand and goes, I, I, we don't make weapons here, we grow plants, and... <laughs> What kind of things are you looking for that'll work? Yeah, understandable. Oh. Well, um, obviously the plants at the moment, and you said you don't have a lot, um, but you can spare, obviously. And then just wondering if you have any expertise in maybe making them into a, an, an extract as well. Um, I just a moment and goes, um, yeah, let me see what I can do. Um, I think for a second, uh, why don't you come with me? We'll see what we can do. We've we got some, some of the stuff we have here. It might be of the right sort of thing for your. Uh, and she just kind of like waves a hand at your suit. Like, well, uh, we can, you know, we can, we can. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, you know, we can engineer up something. As I said, a pneumatic cannon or something like that that can fire slivers of wood. But, um, but yeah, it's got berries, right? Mistletoe. Yeah. Um, and so that might be a source of uh of 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 the 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 um of juice or something like that that we could aerosolize anyway take a look bunker see what you your, can do your your myth said something about it transforming midair or something right well um uh else? loki i i one one version of the myth said that said that loki transformed it into iron um, you know, as hard through it, but only the fact that it was mistletoe allowed it uh, allowed it to kill Balder, because otherwise, uh, yeah. as I said everything else had everything else had basically was he was mystically protected against. Um, okay. um, yes, yeah, can I take right. you back um, into? Like part of the thing to look through, like they don't have a lot of mistletoe just because it's not like a thing they have much of. Um, but some, but you you know your systems, so you'll know some of the stuff that will kind of go together well. So bunker, if you want to make a roll, overcome. Now, in this particular case, does ranged combat come into it, or just my better range? Yeah, because the thing is, you, you'll know your weapon systems. So, range combat. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Um. I'm. So, yeah, with that. I also, also remember you, you. You can use um, if you want to pop that up a bit. You can. I am use, going to. <laughs> yeah. Remember, oh yeah, remember to, to split up your hero points. Mm -hmm. That's what I, uh, unfortunately, I, I, I was going to stick with what I had last time just because I hadn't done it. So. So I will definitely throw a plus three on there. <laughs> okay, so make that a, yeah, five? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so as, as you're sort of um, looking... 
it could be um just wondering if the tactician it's an overcome so it would be the a six i don't know if that makes a difference or not yeah so the over yeah it's the four to seven is the um uh succeeds with a minor twist but if you wanted to go with like okay. a, a two or rather even just a one depending on depending on how you split it up that would work because you just need at least a four i can go with a two i uh, yeah i can go with a two then okay so it'll be with um, minor twist. Uh, you actually do manage to get a couple things sort of put together, but the um, one of the problems is going to be is it's not going to be um, sort of hidden. Probably because you've got like some stuff on there with uh, you'll throw out some shrapnel. You've also got some stuff for the extract um, that's usable, but because it will be um, sort of visible because you sort of jury rig some stuff on the uh, the, the hand or something to, to fire it, um, it's very likely to draw a little bit of attention. That'll, that'll be the minor twist. Uh, I want to try and make something for everyone else, too. I don't know. Maybe something that they can utilize. Even if it's just... Uh... Actually, let me, let me change it here. You managed to get enough to basically uh, create something for your cannons... That, you, you, that you'll be able to okay. use, but not for you. Like not everyone's going to be able to get hooked up with it. And also the, the way the way it's going to work, it's like right. he takes damage without it. it. It'll actually depend on his the die rating he uses, um, or his status it will depend on yep. things from weakness. Oh. There's, yeah, the thing is, there's not a lot uh, there, but you there there are some ways to actually deliver it. Um, uh, Pretty efficiently by using your armor. Got that worked into your stuff. <clears throat> All right. The interrogation. Uh, Michael, the other thing yeah. I'm going to do, uh, just very briefly, is I'm just going to. I'm going to put the local authorities on alert with a, a stat of this guy and some of his minions just so that the, we get a quick um, a quick heads up in the case that anybody spots him. All right. Thanks. Yeah, they, yeah they, they, they've got stuff on sort of high alert. Um, the, 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 the chief you talked to was just like, wait, another one? Didn't we just do this? It's the same. It's... I, we think uh, we think that there's there's some overlap here. Um, that in fact, some of these early attacks may have been this guy probing um, our universe, and uh, this is the this is the uh, the big one. Yeah, they don't pay us enough for this. Okay, we'll we'll keep an eye out. Don't pay us anything. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. And the rate's an absolute zero. Um, are we starting with the, the interrogation? Yeah, unless there's something you want to do before. Uh, nah, nah. Uh, basically, um, so I, I come in and I'm trying to take the like, good cop approach. Just kind of like, I, I bring him like a, a slut. I bring him like, so I walk in and I bring in like a full bar and I'm like, so what's your poison? And Wraith, what are you doing? Are you are you gonna are you uh, I'm in the, the same I'm in, or someone else? No, I'm I'm in the corner in the shadows. I will re reveal that I'm there okay. later if necessary. So yeah, you've got um there's the, you've got Than, Lamia, and Carries. Like, Lamia was the vampire, Than had like the, the power to almost like suck out your energy, and Carries was the evil. Yeah, I'm going to Than. Okay. Than is like is uh you bring one of the interrogation rooms and you still got him like cuffed with the things that uh, essentially will keep his powers mm -hmm. working. You think you said you brought him a what again? I brought a full bar just with uh -huh. like all the different drinks. I'm like, so I mean like I'm really well known for uh 
you know, my, my uh, mixed drinks, my frozen mixed drinks. Do you have like a preference or anything? I know we got off on the wrong foot a little while earlier. Um, <laughs> just, uh, I just want to show you, I'm not really that bad of a guy. You did kind of attack me though. So, you know, like, hopefully we can move past this. So like, what, what, do, what would you like to drink? You're nicer in this reality. Um, sure. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. I, 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 you did kill a thousand of me or something like that, but you know. I'll feel bad when I have to do it here, perhaps. Uh yeah, sure, whatever. But till then you want to drink or something like that. Of wine. You're like the you're like the twentieth person to tell me that, but wine? All right. Um I usually make kind of more like the um like slushy drinks because you know, uh cold, but uh sure, wine it is. We got we got this. Here you go. You know, kind of, you know the beer. Yeah, go. What was that? Sniffs it for a moment, and then just, you're just delaying the inevitable. Yeah, sure, whatever. That's what they all say. I mean, I've delayed the inevitable for thirty years now, or something like that. So it's going pretty well. Anyways, do you want do you want, do you want some more of that? He's kind of like kind of finishes a bunch, pushes the glass across. And goes, is this where you're building a rapport? Hmm? With poor little captured me. I kind of just feel bad that I completely kicked your ass and like barely felt anything after I did it. So this is me making up. amends. It was, you happened to catch me flat-footed. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm actually kind of wondering how these other absolute zeros that you, you know killed were. They, like slacking off or something. They couldn't have really been that much. Anyway, anyways, so like, just, just, so why are you so interested in us? Because, because every universe has its pain in the ass, and that pain for us is always you. Oh, really? No, yeah, but billions and billions of people. I'm always the top. No, not you. Your group. Oh, I mean, you're okay. almost always a part of it. Occasionally you're dead before we get there. Occasionally you're a villain. Sometimes you were never a part of it, but there always seems to be a Freedom Five somewhere. Well, that's fascinating. So, like, why why do you want to destroy us? It seems like a lot of effort. And okay, maybe not that much because you didn't you weren't that great when we fought. Even Richoff has to bow before Oblivion. And he destroyed so much of the world, of the different universes. The one we were in was mostly destroyed. He managed to keep us safe. We're going to a place that is anchored right now. The place that's most strongly anchored in the multiverse, here. Hmm. It's interesting. So why did you have to go through all the other worlds to, to get here? We've done that before, before all of this happened. Because Fritjof is a conqueror, and his kingdoms have been leveled by a mad god that came through and destroyed most of time. Oh, so someone leveled his kingdoms before. Tell me more about this guy. Oblivion. He destroyed many multiverses. Many universes. Oh, didn't we defeat him? I'm sure you did that all by yourself. Yeah, I mean, like... So you can beat Oblivion, but we could, but you can beat us? How are you how are you gonna do that? Sort of smiles and goes. Was it you, Wraith, Bunker, um, and Tachyon? I didn't mm -hmm. what we can tell legacy is a way. Unity apparently hasn't even grown into herself yet. It was the it's five of you group. the five of you against Oblivion. Not mm -hmm. what happened. Oh. Okay. But who's used to say that our allies won't be back to, to fight you next time, too. Like, what's your plan for dealing with that? Seems really challenging. Especially if you're like the best that they got. Reach off himself is enough. All right. Does he have some kind of like secret weapon or something that like could deal with this? Like, Right now, on paper, it's not looking good for you guys. Well, you should be very confident. I 
I mean, have you, I mean, that's, I'm making you a nice drink right now. I mean, I feel it pretty confident. Yes, you're trying, you're attempting to build rapport. Believe me, I've already told you I'll feel bad when we crush you. Huh, well, but at we least won't you'll crush feel you. bad. Huh, yeah, I mean, like, every single enemy we've ever went against has, has said that. But what makes, what makes you guys different than all? Just this no, one guy? Because yeah, like, this guy that you're talking about sounds just like everyone else that we beat. So what I would do here is, and Wraith, I don't know if you want to help or So you move towards basically an overcome to get him to slip and let you know something? Yeah, basically. Yeah, no so you overcome. Well, well there uh, the might be something. I don't know if, if Wraith wants to do a boost on there, if, if you do something to help. Yeah, that sounds good. Um... Cool. Let's see. Um, not sure which quality this would be. Unless it's just my stealth that I'm actually catching him by surprise. Well, it, de been... it depends. What, what, what do you what do you do to? Uh... Um, I mean, I think I, I'm just kind of letting this play out, and then I just want to kind of. I've like been in the corner uh, behind him, um, listening the whole time. And or do we want to do something where I'm boosting you by setting this up for whatever you want to do next? I mean, either, either way, I guess either one, one one could be boosting and one is. Hand it off to the bad cop. You could do the time <laughs> on yeah threat. Just cut leaping out of there. I mean, there are worse things that can happen to you than than dying. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was just gonna, yes, just, just throw him off guard by having been there the whole time and, and just come forward at a certain point and Rent them. slam my hands on the table in front of him and say, you would have been eaten by oblivion along with the rest of your world if you weren't tucked away in a prison. And that's Absolute. right back where you're gonna end up this time. Absolute Zero, do you want to, uh, uh, you want to make? Do you want to roll the boost for Wraith to bring it home? Sure, sounds good. Um, basically, before that happens, I mean, but like, I mean, like, you're talking about how badass you are, but you haven't even noticed the bad cop here the entire time. So banter and uh, intuition. That did not roll the die. So a six. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a plus two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Wraith, um, just kind of like. Like snaps at you a, a little, a little surprised, and just kind of growls. You may have gotten, uh, you may have beaten Oblivion. We have may have been caught, but Fritjof himself is a god, and when he comes through that portal, he will lay havoc. This world, you have already given him the key. Are we do should I roll or are we continue continuing the conversation? Well, if, you, if you want to continue a little bit, then we'll, then we'll have you make the roll yeah. to see if. Okay, if I just you, wasn't sure. Yeah. Um, yes, Fridge is very impressive being locked in this in a cell for centuries. Uh, not locked in a cell for centuries. They got lucky last time. Um, if you make a roll to see if he is, this is where he slips. Okay. Nice. Are you are you using um your principal, your principal of detective? I guess well, so. It's an eight, even if he doesn't. <laughs> but but that but that's well, I guess the, the, the hero point doesn't matter here since it's the last session. Um, yeah, completely. It's a ten. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm sorry. What was the last thing you just said? And what was the um? I forget how I started, but basically just saying, uh, you know, he was locked in his cell for centuries but <laughs> oh yeah you also I was like, like well how did the, how did how did he get captured from them because last time they managed to defeat him before he had actually acclimated to his universe this time when he comes through he will have the time to do so and then he will crush you yeah 
so we have almost the time to do so. <clears throat> All right, all right. Do you, do you think we should push this any further? Basically, I, I'm just giving Wraith the look. Like, do you think we can get some more out of them? Uh, I don't know that this fool knows anything. I think he, he's already told us everything useful he he has. Yes, you're right. This, he doesn't seem like he's very high up there. Like he probably saved those positions for good, you know, you know, villains. Ones that you know can put like a dent into something. I, I don't, like like this is this is me after the fight. Notice any differences? Didn't think I will so. ask him. I will ask him to allow me to crack your bones and stuff them. Back. Well, I mean, you had your opportunity, so. Uh, I, I guess round two, we'll see if you can put a scratch on me. His eyes, all of your experience with the thousands of absolute zeros that you've crossed. His, his anyway. eyes narrow at this point. Care for a drink? <laughs> Turn me to my cell. Well, thank you for all of your cooperation. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we ship him off to a cell. Um, so at this point, do we just want to like, would, would it be worth it to kind of go through like in Derry any of the other ones or do we want to just like kind of like montage that or? The, the one would probably, but basically like you, you, you got the thing that when he, he's not fully in the universe when he first comes through. Right. So sh that's sh something sh to oh, take advantage of. Sh shoot a, shoot a message to Tachyon. Um, you're gonna love hearing this uh speed is gonna be the essence uh yeah as soon he as he arrives as, apparently as soon as he arrives on this plane he'll be at his most vulnerable we need to detect him and and confront him uh mm -hmm. immediately all right uh uh thank you on to to bunker bunker yeah. come in oh. Man. Um, go ahead. Let's uh, um, let's get the whole satellite. Let's get the whole satellite network off general security, and onto this guy's likeness. Um, it looks like it's going to be critical to hit him the moment he come appears wherever that is. So we need every eyeball out. We need the sat networks out. We need the drones out. I'm gonna have the. We've, I've 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 already got the city, to put their cameras, to put their cameras up and 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 beam us to it. I'll just make sure that that went through. Okay. So we need to know the nanosecond this guy starts to make an appearance because we may not have a lot of time after that. And keep the and <laughs> and Wraith, let's have the jump shot on standby. I don't know when this guy's going to make his move, but we're going to have to be ready uh, at a moment's notice. All right. So, did you basically uh, something? Do you basically at this point sort of hunker down in? Um, uh, Kind of ready to go mode yeah yep um okay. you see um you see tachyon uh you know punching up something on the computer and it's an image of that gun from uh from vault a and then she wipes it off the screen Remind me, the gun from Vault A? Yeah, we went and got some aliens. It's, it's, a, it, it's, oh. an, it's an alien. It's an alien cannon that fucks with reality. Oh yeah, that was that boost of the yeah, one shot plus two boost attack. <laughs> no, it is. It, it's 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 something. It's something I made up. Oh. Okay. Um, was well, I, I had yeah I did, we had something I don't remember what it was. You have something that's a one shot plus two boost attack against Freejoff. It it, it it has a boost to its its attack that was made last session. Uh, yeah, that was. A, yeah, that was our role for the missile pillow thing, I think. For this thing. So 
Oh, okay. So yeah, th- yeah. Now we, you now you've got one that can actually, essentially, it will it will hit him with his weakness. Yeah. Um, the right. bunkers. So you, you'll all, you'll have the one thing that'll be like a big attack, and then you'll be able to strike him and essentially put a weakness on him. Yeah. Which particularly, no, th- I'll, I'll let you know part of this. If you use it to to put hinders on him, um, what it will do is I mean just so like how the the way he's so he's someone designed to be kind of a solo villain. Um, part of his thing is depends on if he has. Uh, hinders associated with his weakness on him. It reduces his die, like like the status die size. He doesn't use green, red, and yellow. He uses um, basically. Does he have uh, no bonuses and hinders based on his weakness? Does he have hinders based on his weakness, but also bonuses, or does he have no hinders based on his weakness and bonuses? Those depend on what his what his die size is. It's not confusing at all. They basically, no. it, it, I, I, I think yeah, I got it. Yeah. We, we, we know, we, the, the characters know. Yeah, basically, if, if, if he's all clear and he's got boosts, he's more powerful. Uh, if you hit him with hinders and take away his, his boosts, uh, he's much weaker. So, like, like basically, um, he can bring himself up to a middle point, but as long as he's got those hinders, he is not as powerful. And I think um, Bunker has some that can be I, lasting. I remove bonuses, so I know what I'm going to be doing all fight long. <laughs> okay. The, okay. No, the uh, yeah, the 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 the, the Volte thing was just um, was just a little bit of narrative. Um, just a an alien weapon from the Oblivion Crisis that is in the probably too dangerous to use category. Ultimate nullifier. Well, no, it's just, it's one of those, you know, it's one of those weapons that, that, you know, beams, beams reality. And so it has unpredictable side effects. Okay. Um, so we can cut to a few days later. Um, you have been kind of keeping an, an eye on, uh, even though it might be coming in and it's actually, it's, it's near the, uh, the Akash Flora tree, where you get a radar alert that something, yeah. something that they, a, a, a spike of magical energy has has been found uh, over by there. Thank you on to to freedom force. Let's. This is not a drill. This this is probably like the third time we've like mobilized and then like called it off like before we actually got there like no false alarm false alarm but we were like <laughs> moving that's, at the first that's, sign that's know? the way it is yeah, well no I'm I yeah I do instant reconnaissance um I told you, you if you're gonna to teleport in for magic you <laughs> have to let us know we put it down <laughs> on hero Twitter. <laughs> Yeah, we mobilize. Um, the entire time I'm just sitting there thinking, are you sure it's not a drill? Because he always says it's not a drill when it is a drill. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't a drill before, it was a false alarm. There's difference, I say. <laughs> so wait, this entire time we haven't actually had a drill. <laughs> <laughs> We're a mature team, we don't need a drill. And this isn't a false alarm, I say. <clears throat> Having gotten there, yeah, still going at like maximum speed that we can. Are you sure? Because you said it wasn't a false alarm last time either. All right, the um... and yeah, oh, we I'll... we leave all the the prisoners locked up in their uh, frozen isolation cells. Yep. So uh, in the kind of the the crook of the tree itself. There is a, a, a as you arrive. There is um, like energy almost pouring out. For it almost looks like it's it's on the surface of, um, but as it's pouring out, and there's a, a portal has opened up, and the person that comes through is about eight feet tall. Um, has got like a like like kind of Viking looking. He's got like a like sort of shaved on the heads and sort of long hair. Comes back into braids. Uh, he's wearing a bit of a Jack Kirby armor. 
as he steps through. And just, and as, as he's coming through, there's still energy arcing off of the uh, the portal he's come through to him. And, and as he's just kind of... As he's just, he's sort of absorbing it as as you uh, you touch down on premises. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like, aren't gods supposed to be bigger than that? What's up? And he goes, not necessarily. Normally it takes you longer to get here. It's a shame you've come so quickly to your destruction. I am Fritjof, the breaker that. of... <laughs> which way he just kind of stops just <laughs> honestly he spent so much time like building himself up I was assuming he was going to be short yeah me too like insecure about it I was kind of sad so, that he stopped at just no like cor- one of those there's really not a lot of correlation we had bingo boards for which titles he was going to choose and everything <laughs> break of rules was just the free laugh. State, so... laugh if you must now for soon I shall rule this I got our, I shall rule this world. Anyone else? Oh, this is a monologue so necessary. I mean, we should give our villains the time to express themselves. It's, it's, guys, it's rude if we don't. <laughs> they don't get much time on top, so just let them feel good while they're there, and then let the beatdown commence. Hey, buddy, you monologue right. real well, you know? Good. Good. Yeah. Solid effort. If there was a next time, we'd right. be able to try again. Right. What do you do? Um, I think it, it's combat time. I see him charging up. My first instinct is to use my, my absorption ability on my suit to try and absorb whatever energy he's trying to grab so that he doesn't he doesn't have access to that. So you're trying to put a hinder on him? Basically, yeah. yeah that, that's what that plus two was from, was for the uh, reversal. So I'm going to go with absorption right. and... <laughs> Would banter make sense because I've been bantering with him? All right, and banter. Let's roll. So a six. Um, yeah, so it's, as it happens, some of it starts to, to kind of like arc off of him, and there's this moment where it's like, and he's trying to almost pull it back, but you've actually managed to like grab a portion of the energy from him, which will give him minus two. Okay. But it the will not save like, you for long. The entire time I was like, really? None of the like, thousand other absolute zeros tried this move? You never learned from it? Passing to. Uh, I'm gonna pass this to. Would Wraith make the most sense? What do you guys think? I'm gonna pass to Wraith. Um. So he he's absorbing energy from this this portal. Well, yeah, but, yeah, but there's there's energy hitting him from the. Yeah. So I think I'm I'm using my grappling hook attack to uh, try and like yeah I'm swinging and then try to hook hook an ankle and, and yank him away from it. Uh, um. Do this as like as an attack or a hinder or. It is my grappling hook attack. Yeah, which is a, an attack and. Uh, I guess I'm trying to remove any bonuses if he has one. He does not right now. Oh, he doesn't. Um, then yeah, I guess it's a hinder. As my my, my min min die acts as a hinder. Um, what is this? I guess. Oh, it's a terrible roll. <laughs> It's a nice symmetric roll, at least. Yes. But are you adding any of your... Uh... Three of a kind. Um, yeah, I guess I might as well. What do I have? Um, let's see. So it's a hinder. 
I guess I'll, I'll put a plus three to that attack. Make it five. Five points? Yep. It's kind of, ah, grabs him and just kind of a little bit, uh, since he's down as it kind of crashes into him, he just shrug it off, but it's, it's caught him uh, and, and brought him further away. Handing it to you? Uh, bunker. Okay. Um, yes. So, did that add a hinder your shot as well? Right. Uh, it should, yeah. yeah. Just oh, a, yeah. a negative one. Oh, so yeah. So you got a total negative three. So far, none of them are, are with his... None of them are with his weakness. Um, however, yeah, it gives him a total right now of a negative. All right. And uh, the negative three on him. I'm going to... Uh, it's a good time to take a attempt a shot to try and add something to this weekend. Um, so assuming that's just a range combat, my cannon. Is that both an attack and a hinder? Or? Um, it's just an attack. Um, I don't, I don't, unless I have a way. Like I don't know. Okay. Can I you're, so you're not going to use the missile. Tip? My my attacks an attack, so I can't. Well, I am. That's what I'm just. It's just I don't have any way to hinder if, normally. If you want, you can um, take a uh, you can take a, a minor twist uh, and take uh, loose health equals. <laughs> Die. You, you can uh, always, you can always do a booster or hinder as a basic move. You can you also you, you can also do a comp or what yeah. they call it, a complex move by taking a minor twist and then you will take or th th then you can basically do two, two basic actions. Okay, I will do that. And... Want to lose health equal to your mid die? Doing, doing with uh, three points of damage and then a minus one hindle with mistletoe. Yeah. Okay. Can you uh, crank that up any? <laughs> um. Yeah, I can put a plus three on it. On the, you're doing the hinder or on the the uh, damage? On the hinder. All right, so that will take the hinder from a three to a six, so that actually turns that into a minus two. As it actually strikes, like his, like where it hits, starts to like smoke a bit. One of my minions opened their damn mouth. You want to hand it off to? You? Um. Hmm. I, me. Yeah, I might as well do the tachyon thing. No, save, save me. What? Save me. What'd you say? Save me. Save you? Off to him. Save you? Okay. All right. So who else is there? Is it just... Yeah, if you bring up the turn order, it's a free job, Megalopolis, or... and, the, and the, the city itself. Okay. So let's go free talk then. Yeah, at that point, as, as it as it hits him, it's just <sighs> and at this this point, you see like his whole body kind of starts to glow as there's an energy sort of around him, and he goes. 
strike me, Nats. This is what happens when you strike a god. Um, well, he has a penalty related to his weakness, but no bonuses. So. Um... Okay, so the way his the way his abilities work, um, so he's gonna boost with his max die, right? Yeah, which uh, one, two, three, four, five, which takes him down to a zero. So no bonus or penalty is actually created with that. Um, well, I, I, actually, wait. Since 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 you put him on, these go for one dies. What, what, what's gonna happen is he boosts himself with his max die. He also can do this is channel greatness. He attacks with mid die and then he also has an innate whenever he takes an action that lets him attack he also makes another attack with his so do you want those the the total of plus the minus two minus two and minus one go on one of those or do you want to spread those out among those the minus two minus two and minus one uh because he'd be, he'd be boosting with seven and then attacking uh both wraith and bunker with So um, I would put a minus one, minus two on the uh, attack, and then I'll put the other ones on the boost. And then, then Bunker, you get to choose one for you. You're, you're putting yours on the attack. And then Bunker, where uh, would you like to put your, your minus two? Um, I think the attack as well. Okay. Uh, so yeah, essentially, uh, you, as as each of you are struck, um, he's been sort of hurt and weakened enough that none that uh, none of them are actually uh, none of them do any damage to you. Uh, do you get hit by it? Do you dodge it? Do you, is it just too weak when it hits you? How do you want that to be? Uh, for me, it'll be it's just too weak. And for Wraith. Doesn't kind of treat my armor anyway. Yeah, I'm I'm zipping around on on swinging on lines and doing acrobatic flips, and they're just passed by me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and he as, as he, he tries to attack you, you manage to. Uh, whoops. Forty-eight. Uh, as he passes it off to Megalopolis itself. Um, just as part of my hinder, I, I, I'm, I'm making fun of him, going, the power of a god! Uh, yeah, so as this happens, like, like suddenly you hear, <laughs> as uh, some of the officers who are in this area start to fire, uh, they only do a single point of damage, they just use die against him, um, as they start to fire on, uh, on that passes it to Tachyon. Um, uh, I'm going to, um, <laughs> I'm going to get up speed <laughs> as it were. Um, and I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna prepare to, uh, um, uh, to, uh, use a little relativity on him. Um, so this is a self boost. <clears throat> so that's an eight, which is a plus three. No, this is a self boost. As I said, I'm getting up to I'm getting up to relativistic speeds here. And we are starting a new turn. You want me, uh, I can put it on the characters that are underneath these, the absolute like the the ones that are kind of closer to enemy stuff. You want, I'm just that's just where I'm sort of keeping my window at. Mm -hmm. if, if you if you see here, this is where I'll put your bonuses at. That way I don't have to like scroll around too much. All right, who are you passing it to? I'm gonna pass it back to Bunker. 
Hit him okay. again. All right. I'll uh, do the same thing as last time. That's okay, a... so I met that in eight this time. So with that one. Oh, nice. And then I also want to. So, uh, so if I was to try and hinder him again this time, what would that end up as? I'd have so to take eight. If it's a hinder, it would be an eight. Well, are, are, you, are you looking at doing both of them? Doing both a. Yeah. A hinder, a hinder and an attack? Yeah. Yeah, so in this way, if you want to lose health equal to your mid die, so you would take uh, eight points of damage. Um, do it. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. So how we much need damage? To, we need you to keep firing those splinters into him. How much damage you do? Yeah. Um, well, my mid die is eight, so. Yeah, as uh, like how like how big is this thing that hits him along with the with the hunters of it? <clears throat> is this like, is this like a giant um, Cthum hit or? Yeah, it's it was, it's basically I've taken my riot cannon almost made it uh, more of a gauze projectile with the. Uh, with some of the splinters attached to the tips. As it hits and knocks it back, it's, just... so it's, it's basically. Hmm? Yep. Yeah, see, that, that throws a minus two for the mistletoe on him. It's just once again, it's. Ah! 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 Bunker, you've never been this pain to me before. Pass it to? Well, that's because we may not have had the foreknowledge that we did this time, and that was without your means help, so you know. And, um, you still have a bonus on new attack, yeah? So I'm thinking now might be a good time to actually pass it to you. Yeah? He has a negative on him. I'm just talking with the balancing him out. So, actually, let's go with um, absolute zero. All right. I think I'm going to just freeze it for him. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to I'm gonna actually freeze it for him. Um, I'm going to uh, banter while I do it. So, just you know, stare at him and be like, mistletoe? I Mistletoe and my mask blows, uh, pops back up, and a huge jet of cold just blasts him in the face. Mm -hmm. uh, here's we go. Okay, but it didn't quite work. It just, it just kind of like, bloop, and maybe just was like an annoying amount of frost. Two points of damage. Yep, and I take two points of damage as well. All right. I just kind of got his hand up and just kind of brings his way back up to his knees. And who do you want to hand it to? Um, I want to hand it to Ray. I, I just say I don't perform well under pressure. Or you could hand it to me. <laughs> uh, Ray. Um, okay, now can I try to drag him away from whatever he's boosting himself with? Yeah. With my grappling hook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. You're going to overcome? I'm doing. Uh, no, it's it. my grappling hook move lets me make a, a ranged combat attack, and then I can remove a physical bonus or penalty or hinder. Oh, yes, yes. So, or, yeah, yeah. or move somewhere else in the environment. Okay. 
So you're looking at basically removing his bonus he created for himself? Yes, I'm trying to drag him away from uh, the portal, maybe, uh, whatever it is. It looks like he's, he's boosted himself up uh, while I'm, you know, attacking. Uh, yeah, he, he can create exclusive persistent bonuses, so the fact that you're able to get rid of them, because otherwise they, they remain. Um, yeah, the fact you can be like, nope, crab. <laughs> he keeps his, he keeps like his, does he has a D12 if he has no penalties related to his weakness? Uh, e eight if he's got penalties but some bonuses, and a d four if he's got penalties but no bonus. Okay, so that is an eight attack. That that does damage and then removes bonuses. And then yeah, it removes. It says remove a physical bonus, which I guess is you could you could say that like. The grappling yeah, hook is not effective at getting him away from whatever. I, 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 I would think I in, this case, in, in this case, while he, he boosts himself with this sort of cosmic power, um, he's not completely in this realm yet, so the fact that he's been moved further away actually has broken some of that power because he's not acclimated to... The... So yeah, we'll say that got rid of his bonus that he created. Right. And and you did eight points of damage. And did eight damage, yeah. Right, so he handed it to. As, as, he, as he gets ripped forward... Um, Don't let him take two turns in a row. Uh, then I will hand it to him. As, as he kind of hits the ground and brings himself up, he goes, Soon my minions will come through and run ramp. But while I'm still here, it, he, at, at this point, he just... There's almost this like glow that hits the entire area with the intense amount of light um so here All right, so yeah what what he'll do there is um, is it kind of like washes over all of you? It's going to hinder everybody uh, for a would be an eight, which turns to six with minus two. Right, rather we have max die is still that, and then um, attacks with mid plus min, um, and then we'll do a second attack with his because uh, of his innate ability uh, with his mid die. So uh, Bunker, he's, since you've been the one hitting him hard, he's going to hit you with eight. Uh, and then um, Absolute Zero, he's going to nail you with four. As it goes, and as this happens, there's like a beam of energy, goes at Bunker, and then just a giant fist comes out. He actually teleports a bit and just into Absolute Zero. <laughs> uh, he'll pass it off to Tachyon. I think um, Absolute Zero gets a free boost. Uh, I'm at 23, not 22. I just want to clarify One for away. me, for my stuff, as far as the health stuff goes, um, is it still considered green or is it still considered yellow? Has, has your health for moved into yellow? Armor, for, for my armor, my health has moved into the yellow. Then it's considered yellow. Basically, for green, yellow, green, yellow, and okay. red, it's always whatever's closest to red between the scene and your health. No, it's just whichever is better. Yeah, because you usually get towards yep. red, you okay. get better. I just wanted to make sure. All right, um, I'm one off because of the because of the minus two. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hit me harder, damn it! <laughs> I can I can hit you, get All you right. in my prop wash if you really want to be hurt. Um, no, it's okay. <laughs> uh, the um, from what I've seen, so he's using he's drawing cosmic power right from his gate. We've dealt with cosmic power before. Um, it still transmits through the through normal space time here in this in this thing and i can disrupt it i 
Is that reasonable? Yeah, Cammy, are you doing you doing overcome to? Yeah, I'm going. What I'm going to do, I'm moving at I'm moving at relativistic speeds. I'm going to bend. <laughs> I'm going to bend space a little bit. In the in in I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go through his portal. Um, and bend space in the process. And I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but it shouldn't be anything that he wants to happen. Actually, yeah, it's a, a very superhero thing to do is just go through his is to go through his portal at speed and see what happens. He's certainly not watching me. So here we go. Okay, so this is an overcome. Mm -hmm. And I will, I will, um, uh, the hinder affected me too that he did before, right? Uh, you have a total of a plus one because, yeah, with right. your, your plus so three I'll throw in, two. I'll throw in two, I'll throw in a, a two point hero bonus that I have, uh, to make it an eight. All right. So as, as you like rush through, there's just like this almost not quite a sonic boom. It's more of a, just a sort of a boom in the power as you go through it. Actually just, there's like a, a backlash hits. And after he had hit absolute zero and was sort of like looming above you and <laughs> ah, kind of hits his knees as, as the, the power being shunted to him is broken. All right. Megalopolis is the only one to pass it off to. Yes. All right. So at this moment, at this point, already, uh, none of you are probably, um, Rushing around, uh, you do, do hear some crashes of um, uh, crashes of cars. You got some civilians that are possibly in danger from stray attacks and such going from here. Uh, they can be saved, but like minor minor twists might affect them, which will become kind of like uh, temporary hinders on folks. That is now there. Um, Megalopolis will hand it off to. Ooh. Ahead. <clears throat> They're gonna hand it back to uh Frijoff. Uh he just he sort of just turns, disappears. Oh, that minus two on from the previous. Uh turns, disappears, and uh reappears in front of bunker and just just to, just hammers you hard uh right in the robo gut yeah so he's gonna hit you for six um there's a Hits you a bit, and then uh, some of the energy uh, arcs off him as he, as he turns and, try, and tries to kind of cut Wraith down, because you've been running around and grabbing him. He's going to hit you for six as well. Uh, he'll pass it off to Bunker. Right in his face. Okay. That being the case, um, I am going to, since I'm in red now. Yeah. He got you to red? You've been hitting yep. him hard. <laughs> you know, you took two big health drains from, 
from and the hinder. And I drained myself. I drained oh. myself eleven, right? Oh yeah. fuck. <laughs> so um I'm going to omniblast him. Okay. I have no I have no bonuses right now, but I get to use my max mid and min dice on him. Um I haven't changed modes yet. So I'm assuming I'm playing that mode. So Oh, that's pretty nice. 22 points of damage? Yeah. Max and min, just 16? No, it's or... max, mid, and min. Oh, all three. Okay, it's a 22. As yep. that hits him, he just... He goes flying back uh, from the attack. You've taken down to 44 hit points out of his original 95. And he goes slamming into the tree. All right. I don't think I can afford to take any more damage myself. <laughs> uh, okay. So I will pass. Yeah. He doesn't have any bonuses on him right now, right? Correct. Oh, you you'd have had a minus two, which will actually you have him at forty six out of his original ninety five. Being the fact that he has no negatives on him, I will pass it on to you. Absolutely. Alrighty then, I'm just going to uh, freezer burn him. So just standard, you know, just kind of blast him. Uh, ooh, does it say attack with cold? Please tell me it says attack with cold. Attack using well, cold. It, 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 it doesn't use the cold die. It just means you have to have that one of the dice you're using. Right. Does it use max or does it use the regular? Um, attack using cold take, and then I take damage equal to my mid die. So I'm, I'm taking seven. Okay, so you, you do nine points of damage minus two. Or no, you've got them still the minus two, so you do seven points. Mm -hmm. uh, and that flips me into yellow. So I'm going to roll my boost. My boost is. You can see, get that. Uh, 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 no blank on vibration. Oh, I know. My boost comes from my green stuff. Modular, whenever your personal level changes, you may boost using coal. So, um, you're boosting using coal? Yeah, you just, you just roll the coal die. Yeah, so nine, yeah. which is a plus three. Who are you boosting? Uh, myself. Okay. Or actually, um, Bunker. I'm going to boost Bunker. Okay. Uh, while I'm freezing him, I'm freezing his hands. Uh, I'm freezing his feet to the ground so that he isn't able to move out of the way of the Bunker's next attack. Okay. It lines him right up. And who do you want to pass that off to? Um, I want to pass this off to uh, Tachyon. Um. Uh, you said there's some um, there's there's some uh, uh, endangered citizens and such, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So, um, is an overcome to yeah to deal with them? Mm -hmm. you they just go out of the way. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to uh, I'm going to super speed rest just just rescue them. Um. You know, use a use 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 a pressure wave to 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 stop any cars that are out of control. Um, just you know, grab just grab people out of the way and uh, deposit them in a safe spot, a hundred yards away or so. So speed and definitely finesse. <laughs> I don't want to don't want to bruise anybody too badly in the process. Um, but this is principle of speed. Um, no, 
sorry, somehow that it doesn't matter. He uses the max die, so it's a 10. Okay. Yeah, as far as the overcome, yeah, it completely succeeds. Yeah, the, the civilians are suddenly just, you get the, you like get them off onto the sides. They are now all safe. And you have a you have a Frechoff who is now uh, not pulling energy from his dimension. Uh, you now have Wraith or Megalopolis. Pass it off. To you. I'm going to pass it off to Megalopolis. First thing he'll do. I don't we'll... trust Meg- I don't trust Megalopolis not to pass it off. To the... Damn Megalopolis! We almost had them. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah. Once again, you got like so you got some like, like he's being peppered with bullets uh, from off on the side. It's just, he's barely noticing it. It's kind of it's reach off sort of picks himself up from the tree. Um, he does have some cops firing, and that takes us to Wraith. Or the last in this turn order. Um. Keep messing him up. Yeah, I think I'm just uh, attacking it, th- throwing knives at him, and trying to just just keep wrapping him up in the grappling hook. Uh, so it'll be also hindering him a bit. Um, that would be ranged combat. So that's a seven attack and a two hinder. Okay. Um, well, so do you want to do? Do you want to have the minus two come off of your attack or the hinder? Um. I would just completely get rid of the hinder. Uh, it could just come off the attack. Okay. So you're doing five. Five and damage then... and a negative one yeah, hinder. There, you've got everyone now available. Who do you want to turn it on? Spend uh, turn it on. Uh, let's start with bunker. You still got ammo, bunker. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Don't save it. Uh, <laughs> yep. Um, I'm just trying to. Oh. I omni blast again. I guess. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm glad that I'm glad we're exempt from noise ordinances. <laughs> yeah, right. Excuse, excuse me. You did. <laughs> Okay, so I have a plus three this time, so that's ten. Another seventeen points of damage, though. Yeah, it's the Omni Blast. <laughs> Back in the tree again. Just... All right, yeah, you have hit the shit out of him. Uh, who do you pass to? Yeah. Um, you've got the civilian save, Tack, yeah? Uh, civilians are clear. Know, so. <laughs> you, yeah. you, know, you asked that after so... you fired? <laughs> you know, <I'm> cannon. <laughs> 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 blam, blam, blam. Oh, did you get those civilians out of the way? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, I got them out of them. Uh, so let's go. So far, it's been working not too bad. So let's try the absolute zero thing again. Yep. All right. Um, I check first. Have you got the civilians out of the way? Yes. All righty then. 
you must really like that tree. And so I'm going to just blast him again. With, um, actually, I don't know. We're getting, we've done a ton of damage to him, right? We have, how, yeah. How much life does he have left? It might be more useful to like hinder him than heal myself. Uh, you know, I'm going to say the exact one, but he is, he is down significantly. All right. In that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my heated sinks. So I'm going to like basically like run up to him and just like heat sink them. That does uh, attack using my absorption and then hinder the target with your mini die. Okay. So the entire time I'm Slow. kind of bantering with them. Tough. Nice. Very nice. Your mid die is a ten. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I hit maxes. I hit max on all of them. Holy shit. Um yeah, as, as it sort of as it sort of just grabs him and then you've got like um the cold sort of coming through. You've got kind of a Thanos being mind uh mind trapped. That's an eight for your hinder. Um the negative three. Yeah. All right, who are you passing it to? Yeah, the entire time. So since I'm bantering, I said I, I basically echo his words back at him. Feel the power of a god. And uh, now I'm going to pass this off to uh... You just handed him his head. You may as well hand it off to him. Uh, well, but Wraith could probably apply a bigger negative before we get back to our uh, give him a turn, right? He has a negative four right now. Yeah. He's... Or he has a negative three and a negative one, which can be, depending on if he does something that has multiple things, you can choose where those go. Yeah, so it might be better to just keep these negatives and then apply race negatives on top of whatever we have for next round. So yeah, I'll give it back to him. Yeah, have your turn. Reach off? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so free drop at this point. Now, we still have Tachyon in that kind of other dimension. You're making your way back. As he once again just... Mm -hmm. And just, like, the energy that he's absorbed was flying out from him um, using his channel greatness again. So here. Oh, um, also, that had a plus... My thing had a plus to it. Because I, I had the... Do we already calculate that? Oh, did you have a plus two? I think I had a plus... Yeah, I think I have a plus two from my um, my cold. Well, okay. Wait, did you? Did, because did I you changed have... zones. Oh no, you boosted bunker. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Bunker. Yeah. Yeah. yeah bu bunker hit with that plus yep. three. Sorry. Um, totally going on that. But yeah. Yeah. He just goes. Ah, Once again, like there's the power arcs out from him. He's got a couple things happening. He's got. Um, He's boosting with his max die. Um, he is attacking with the mid, which is three, and also he's going to, which uh, that'll be um, absolute zero, and then attacking again with the mid on rate for a three point. You have a minus three and a minus one. Where do you want to put those? On the boost? Put, or... I think we want to put it on the boost, right? I can defend with my smoke bombs from that attack. I can take a hit as a reaction. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so the four from the all four from the boost. Boost to plus two. Distant. Those and um, yeah, we'll then hit um, both of you. You will get hit for three. Yeah. Yeah, Wraith, it's just a defense roll for you? Or is it a specific die? It is says as a reaction, when you would take damage, you may defend using gadgets. Okay, so your gadgets. Oh. So the two. It, yeah, so when that Submit. happens, we, yeah, on that one we just count the if, if it's if it says as a reaction, um it just uses that particular mm -hmm. die, because normally you just roll one die, but that's your mid anyway. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah, you you'll take uh, what one point and then uh, three coming to absolute zero. Uh he'll pass it to Wraith. Um can can I unboost him again or has he been here too long to for that trick to keep working? 
I think that, that can still because he he you all, it's also him getting like physically here can also be if if you're if you're knocking him around so that he's he doesn't have a chance to kind of get a stable base. We'll accept gotcha. it there. So I mean, I think physically okay. in that case, it can also be just trying to <laughs> keep an eye where everyone was... is. Fire that little wire bolo gun thing. Yep, yep. I'm just gonna keep dragging him around. Uh, do, 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 do. What is this range? Yeah. So that is an attack for six, and and then removing his bonus. Okay, that'll be attack of four because you still have that minus two. Um, I thought that applied to my last. Didn't that apply to my last action, or just did it's not a new one? It didn't get used. I don't think. No, I didn't. I don't. Yeah, know. We forgot to use it. Okay. Yeah, his bonus goes away. Passing it to. Megalopolis. No, it did apply because I you, you actually let me choose if I would put it to my uh, negative one hinder or the attack and so and i anyway it doesn't matter um who's left oh. uh let's give it to megalopolis he's looking in a pretty bad way so it looks like there's a decent chance this may that uh, he may had done, like <laughs> that 20 that that 22 the bunker rolled was like a holy shit roll um <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, it's like, goes down by a little bit, goes down a little bit, a little, little bit, shh, bam! It's like, gee. All right, so with Megalopolis, uh, we're now in yellow. Uh, as the crowds start to, like, like, freak out at this point, as more of them have started to notice, um... Oh, actually, no, wait, no, we'll do this instead. Um, yeah, and so as this is happening, there's been a lot of, of attacks and stuff done near the tree itself. At this point, the tree starts to flail into life as part of the root system, starts to sort of come up, and they're going to act as a lieutenant. Uh, that will be something that will be a problem next time, as, as the tree itself... Uh, seems to be able to defend itself, which uh, was not something you were aware of before this. It will count as, a, as it'll count as a lieutenant. Um, that just leaves it to Tachyon. Um, uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to get up speed again and boost myself. Not much of a boost. <laughs> Just a point. Oh. Um, bizarre. It, it, apparently, if I copy something in here, it's different if I don't have the text. Oh, um, I don't know why it's being twice. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess the, the second roll, I'm looking at the first roll. It should be looking at the first roll. Uh, so it's two points. It's plus two. Okay. Um, I don't. That's second. Must have hit the button twice. And you're so you're, um, you're making your way back from from the other dimension. Yes. All right. So at this point, he's look he's looking pretty bad off. But this root system is starting to come out and um, like become a problem. Uh, who do you want to hand it off to? Um. All right, guys, let's see if we can put him down for the count. Bunker. Okay, so I think my plus, unless I got given another plus three, I think that was used last time. Oh, I think that used last time. He's just head sort of moves up towards you. Yep. And I will. Shoot him again, we'll see what we get. Ah, uh, not so good. It's only 12. Oh, so 
essentially with two strikes you did 35 points of damage to him like, like just just two of your of your omni blasts as it hits him you're against the tree and then just kind of slumps down and he is out you still have this portal okay. going you do still have the uh the root system itself as a problem Reach off will remain here to be some stuff happening with the portal. You hand it off, okay. at least as far as turn order goes. Um, hmm. Uh, um, I don't know. The, tree, the, the, root, the root system is hard to tell whether it's. Attacking us or not? Oh yeah, it, it, it's coming up toward trying to attack y'all. Um, okay. Now this this tree is still root bound, right? It's it it it's it can't uh, move, right? The tree itself is not moving. Just the root system is like starting to break up from the ground and whip around at the people who are uh, around. Them. Um. Yeah, um, let's just get everybody out. Let's, everyone, let's just get all the civilians out of the out of the path of fire, and let the tree calm down. Um, we should still deal with the portal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I am going to pass it off to Tachyon. Um. Okay. So I am. Uh, I am. I am. I'm not going to go after the tree. Uh, uh, I'm going to. I'm just trying to 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 clear all targets out of the way. Do it overcome to move people out of the way. Yep. Okay. <coughs> This and yellow. We use a max and I'm boosted, so that's a nine. Yeah, um, yeah, like the civilian, like you managed to get all the civilians to safety. A few of them are just, um, uh, like, like you get them out right before a like part of the root system goes and probably would have smashed them into paste. Got the civilians out of the way. Zero, can you um, can you just back off and chill the area a little bit? Uh, just chill to the area, kind of, kind of, you know. Um, trees are are susceptible to t t temperature changes. Uh, yeah, but shouldn't we shouldn't we do deal with the portal first? I think the, the portal might be a bit of a bigger threat. Um, the portal's still there? Yeah, the, the, the portal still has to be sort of sort of shut because you have you have oh. part of his armies on the other side are trying to make yes. are working on making their way through. Yes, absolutely. Sorry. No worries. I didn't have a visual picture. All right, so are we, are we passing off to absolute zero? Yes. Okay. All right, so for me, I'm going to rush over at the portal and I'm going to try and uh, destabilize the, the, the portal mm -hmm. by um, pushing it to extreme temperatures okay. and using my suit to just like completely like uh, fluctuate the temperature uh, rapidly and, and basically destroy the, the portal okay. and cause it to collapse. So I'm going to go with cold and creativity, I think. Okay. Sure. Um, and yellow. And Rapid yellow. temperature changes. Yeah, great idea. Yeah. So since I'm using overcome with uh, principle of dependence, it's my max die. Mm -hmm. And even each of us would gain a hero point if we had another session. So an eight. All right. Eight is, I think, succeeds completely. Yeah. As, as it happens, the, the portal itself, you see it start to... Um, you said to destabilize it. Yeah. Yeah. As, as it happens, it, it basically to just of, get to collapse. 
as, 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 it, as it starts to become like a little bit weaker on the side, sort of make its way in, you also see that Reach Off is like being dragged slowly toward the portal mm-hmm. as, as this is happening. Um, one more to, to get it completely. You've got some other things that might be making their way. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, who do you want to pass it off to? All right. I'll pass it off to. Um... Between Wraith, I think that it's fine to go with Wraith at this point because we've got um, what's his name down the the main baddie. So I'll pass it off to Wraith. Um, I don't think we want to let him get dragged back into the portal. I think nope. um, he's ours. His grappling hook is already on his ankle. I think I have the jump jet remote fly over, send grappling hook to the end of that and try to have it take off uh, lifting me and him uh, and, and pulling us away from the portal. Basically doing overcome to try to like use that to maybe snap the final energy from the portal. It's, it's trying to bring yeah. him back to the universe yeah. he belongs in. Yeah, just get him away from it. Get him away from the roots to who knows, maybe it'll help that situation as well. Uh, so that's what I do. I guess wealthy CEO represents the jump jet. <laughs> well, that and that and the fact that you use titanium doping in your grappling hook rope. Right. It's like who can afford that? Every one, every one of those ropes costs ten thousand dollars. That's not great. Let's see. I probably have a boost. What would it be? So it would be a three. Yeah. So if I just throw a plus two on there for my hero points. With a minor twist? Yeah. Um, as you know, there's actually a bit of an explosion that then as the portal itself closes, uh, but you're going to take three points of damage from the uh, the minor twist. Uh, and the portal itself, like just as it happens, you see, because the, the next thing to go would have been the city, the root system, or the portal, you actually have like some of his, his lieutenants. Like two of his lieutenants are almost at the portal when it finally like slams shut, so they're actually not gonna be able to make their world. Still have a root system that's kicking up a lot of problems. We've got Wraith is up above things right now. We have absolute zero and um Bunker is still on the ground, and Tachyon, you've rushed, you've, you're back in this. Yeah, the root system, yeah, as, as Tachyon's moved all the, the people out of the way. Um, absolute zero, from where you're at, one of the, um, like from the ground itself, just <laughs> comes in and just slams you for six mm-hmm. points of damage from Ooh. the root system. All right, that puts me into red. Roll your boost. Yeah, and my boost is just gotta remind myself. Uh, let me change that. Boost using cold. Does that mean I just do a normal roll that involves cold? Yeah, you you just use the cold for the. It's if it's a reaction, it's always just. Oh, the eleven. Uh, yeah, you get a plus three. Nice. Are you using that on you or someone else? Um, what's the plan? Are we? Pl- is there any? Is it a good plan to try and just run away from it and let it calm itself down? Or? Not an awful one, because right now, I mean, Wraith, you, you use the, the, the jump jet to get up. Yeah, so it looks like we got, and then Tachyon just moved all of the civilians out of the way. So right now we've got Absolute Zero and Bunker that's still through that area. Uh, okay, I'll, um, I'll give it to Bunker. Right. Um, the root systems will hand it to... Um, Say they, they'll they'll want to give it to themselves again. It's probably their last. You know. mm-hmm. Um, as as bunker, they lash out towards you, which will do no damage because your armor is going to reduce. Them. How many hit points are you at right now? Oh, you're muted. 
And then, then it will be your turn. I'll hit you for one, which won't go through. Sorry, I thought I wasn't wasn't seeing. How many how many hit points are you at right now? I have seven. But so I was hit with an attack, so that's a good thing. I am actually going to. Oh, you went. What did you you just boosted me? Yeah, you have a plus three. Yeah, just just clear uh, bunker. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't want to switch modes when I have yeah. uh, as a reaction. Um. So when I hit with an attack. Change any mode. If I do, I take damage equal to my mid die though, or a minor twist, uh, or min die, sorry, or my or take a minor twist. So how's that? I just what do I roll? So when, when you're hit with an attack, I can change mode at to any mode. Uh huh. Uh, so do I make like a power shoot roll? Was that the idea? Yeah. So wait, what does it what does it say and you do then? Do, if, yeah, if I if you do take take extra damage equal to the min die or take a minor twist. Oh yeah. Okay. So I I will so be hitting I you for an, uh, for one for the min die. Yeah. So yeah. which which is not going to go through your and then what's so you got hit for two instead of yeah. one, which yeah. doesn't matter because your armor can yeah. absorb both. Tick, tick. Yeah. It tickles you. Gonna switch into recharge mode. All right, and then they hand it off to you. I'll be listening. I'm gonna pee real quick. I'll be back. All right. So our plan is to back off, right? Yeah, I think so. My Two of us are already out of there, so. All right, so I am going to defend using vitality. I get to use my max die, recover health equal to my min die. Okay, so that's that's when I defend. I'll just back up for now and if it attacks me, I'll attack. Alright. Okay. I'm assuming I can't roll. Don't have anything else to roll. Is it, were, you, were you getting out of dodge or were you attacking a thing? Or? Um, yeah, I'm getting out of dodge, and I, my mode I switched to was recharge mode, so I can defend myself. I get attacked. Okay. He's in, in re recharge mode. All right, so you you uh, end up heading out of the way, and uh, you just pass it off to absolute zero. Does everyone just sort of get out of the way, and then just? Wait for it to calm down. Or they could boost me. Do you guys want to boost me? Um, are you planning to do something? Uh, yeah, escape. Okay. okay. <laughs> you can do that. Um, okay, so in that case, I'll just try and escape. I'm going to overcome using my suit. So principle of dependence, I'm going to basically just use my suit. Um, it has, uh, I have this, like, if I need to move super fast, kind of like, um, I don't know if you guys have seen The Incredibles, but like, uh, that thing where you, they, he basically like ice skates while shooting ice in front of him. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, that's something that my, my, uh, the feet in my suit can like get get turned into to be able to do that and ice skate really quick. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, just don't call it super fast. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. 
Uh, and I think I mean, he, I, yeah. I, pref I prefer the reference of like Spider Man and his super friends when Iceman would shoot the ice in front of him and go flying around, but I'm older than you, so yeah. I don't, what is a Spider Man? I was actually thinking about that the other day, like, depending on how thick that ice is, if that stuff breaks and crumbles, like, ice is heavy and can do a lot of damage. If I'm, I'm like, yep. that would like fall and like just, <laughs> yeah. It's 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 you know it's just no, no, one, film. no one talks about it um so i that, that, that cartoon is on disney plus if anyone wants to go back and watch it. Uh, i have a feeling it doesn't yes. hold up for it's, well. it's not very good all right it's guys all right good. all right guys come back. <laughs> okay so i'm gonna boost using my hero point yep. so i had one plus four and one mm -hmm. plus one. i'm gonna find my plus four <laughs> All right, and, so uh, this boost on out of there. And so at this point, is everyone just waiting for the um, the actual like the, just the, the the root system to calm down? Yeah, yes. I realize that there's aren't aren't any threats around it anymore. Yeah, and after after a time, it kind of settles back in. It's the first time you've actually seen the tree do anything specific. Mm -hmm. um, even when it was being attacked by all of those those things, all the the, the robots, um, but then it becomes quiet again, and you have an unconscious Frijoff, like um, I'm, I'm guessing just dangling down from underneath the uh, that you've got. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's, I, I'm, yeah, he's dangling upside down while we're watching the tree calm down. You know, flash. Yeah, like, I, I do my freeze him into stasis thing, and uh, we just fly back to the base with this huge ice cube hanging out the side of the, the chopper. Out of curiosity, what was everyone's hit points down to? I was down to a seven. Me too. He, Six. he never Six. struck me. Sixteen. Oh, sixteen? Yeah, so I think him, if, if he hadn't, if I hadn't had him hit bunker several times because you were the one hitting him with the, the weakness, like, you wouldn't have been able to get that, like, 35 and two hits. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, he he never he never struck me, which is uh, pretty amazing. <laughs> well, I don't think that you really went into combat with him, did you? I never hit him. No, I. Uh, um, in fact, I, I, I that was a deliberate decision. Yeah, but um, if he'd waited more on bunker, while I clean, while I made sure that everything else, you know, that his lieutenants didn't show up, that the that the civilians didn't get in the way, that you know, nothing nothing that would expand or or, uh, or or ruin the fight mm -hmm. yeah oh that's perfect yeah, as far as you can tell i didn't do anything at all <laughs> <laughs> well yeah, i and, think absolute zero kind of makes makes that joke on the fight back and just like you always leave us to do all the work all the work yeah and you know it's completely sarcastic but i agree no no i mean no i mean well yeah i you know i did all the work last time i figured you guys just do it this time do we now cut to him imprisoned? Mm -hmm. As he kind of like wakes up in the cell you got formed. <sighs> I just sort of like sort of looks at all of you. Mm -hmm. Goes, if it hadn't been for the mistletoe, I'd be standing over your bodies right. <laughs> Yeah, that and Than completely running his mouth about how how things were going to be different this time. Yo, what did you just hear from another cell? I didn't. I didn't say anything. I swear. <laughs> I will not forget this. Yeah, and I just shout back, "Hey, Dan, remember that god you told us about?" Than is very quiet at this point. So, so are his other his other minions. I'll tell you. I'll, you know. Afterwards, afterwards, I think zero. I'll, I'll tell you something. I was afraid that like another free top was going to show up. Oh, the second one. Yeah. Well, because this guy didn't, you know, was like, you know, how how is it that you know, you know, that you knew that I was coming, kind of thing. It's like, well, you told us. <laughs> it's like, did you have a giant memory lapse in between <laughs> warning us uh, that you were coming and showing? Yeah, up? that all all of them warned us. Everyone had a speech about this guy. 
no it's just like it's, it's i just thought maybe that this isn't the real one you know <laughs> this yeah, is the decoy the one they sent the out the one. decoy one who didn't you know to get ambushed thank yeah. goodness thank goodness he was just not um he had a lot of power but not the brightest candle yeah thank goodness thank goodness okay because our group got really really lucky and like we that just too. got everything really well uh, Absolute Zero still thinks that this is just like an average like, run of the mill like day for us. Like I see, where, like, like you know, like, like some villain says, was not... like you know running his mouth about how they're the destroyer of worlds of everything, and we're just like, yeah, typical Tuesday. Legacy didn't. Legacy says it's not luck; it's virtue. <laughs> oh, part of no, it was also... I'm just saying that he's not convinced this was actually a, a difficult fight. He's still thinking that this was just you know villain of the week. And part of me was like I didn't know like particularly because it's it's hard to tell exactly where especially a villain that's designed to be um without as much minions. Like if I brought a couple lieutenants in, that could have been yeah. a huge oh, yeah, problem. Sure. That would have been a huge problem. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I would well have... us rolling well was um I was <laughs> well, really did it. Well, yeah, he screwed himself by attacking. I mean, he had a good reason to attack Bunker a lot. But then when Bunker got into red, yep. he just got to Uniblast him three times. The, yeah, um, and I was I was really hindering him a lot. So there was a, yeah, I um half the time half the time that I was hanging back and boosting was I expected his lieutenants to pop through. Yeah, I was and gonna wait when, to, when it hits the I yellow. I wanted I was, to cream them when they did. Originally, when it, when it hits yellow, there some of them were gonna come through. But when you did, you started like kicking off stuff with the portal. I mean, it'll take him a little bit longer to get through, and then you manage to get him down. Because if, if he had a couple of lieutenants with him, um, yeah, that would have been a problem. Yeah, because yeah, it's one of those things where it, it 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 takes a little bit to figure out what the what an encounter works in this one. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons I wanted to do that starter kit was just like how they set it up, but they didn't set it up in a way that I think was. Great. When I look through, I'm like, I don't know how much this helps me. <laughs> Do you have any closing out scenes or? Um, or yeah. we, we fade to black while, you, while you're you're talking to him in the cell. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I think at least absolute zeros is. I feel like that already happened, and basically he's I, he's taunting Than all the way till till the screen fades. Um, yeah, no, the, uh, the, the, the closing, the closing app scene, uh, for, uh, for, uh, um, Tachyon, cause you know, it should end on a cliffhanger is, um, uh, uh, Tachyon's in some kind of scanner, some you know, kind of the high tech scanner, not, but it's not ours. I mean, it's, 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 a uh, some sort of. Thing and she's in like a patient's gown and um and uh she comes out and she's sitting with uh dana and uh the doctor comes in and says i have your scan results and he says um and he says uh the treatment we have every reason to hope that this can be treated. And that's where it ends. With Razor Buffer? Uh, I'd, I think I'd like to uh, look over to uh, Wraith. Um, I'll say, can you spare seven minutes of your time? <laughs> Seven. We'll head up to head up to the roof. Yes, I'll head up to the roof. Roof. And we'll. I'll I'll start playing some music, and I'll say we never got to have that dance. <laughs> and uh, that's uh, just so you get to have at least one dance on the roof before you have to go back to work. And then. It's a few. The camera pans out as we hear, let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Bromance. <laughs> <laughs> and then fades to black. Mm -hmm. Roll credits. Thank y'all for for testing out the. Uh, which I I should have just gone ahead and done something from the start. Could have a little bit more uh, dug into character stuff. It's cool to see how some of that that's the other stuff works together compared to what sure. I've done with it so far. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was real fun. It was. Thank y'all. I will. Thank catch you very you. much. Thank you so much. I will catch you around. Yep. See yep. you guys later. Yep. Uh,